villainous origins in the Venture Bros. This is just part one of these. I was making those villain videos the other day and I was like, oh, I have to think a little bit harder about where these characters come from, their genius development and ideas behind them. I absolutely adore the villains in this show. Honestly, some of the best villains in any piece of media ever. Because they are stolen from some of the best pieces of media ever and then just give them a little bit of extra seasoning. Take Phineas Phage, for example. Genius tech inventor but also part robot kind of a cool villain there's more to this character phineas phage is based on bacteriophage a nasty virus that will feed on bacteria and proteins within a host and uh do some really nasty damage but also phineas gage the first man to have brain surgery and have his uh, personality significantly altered by said injury so, a little bit crazy. And those are two very high level, uh, complicated, uh, uh, complicated inspirations for a character. But unlike, say, the Rhino, who is, I'm going to take a guess here, based off a Rhino, you can see the little bit more complex nature of some of these. Like, Wild Fop. Uh, we don't see a lot of this character, he doesn't show up very often in the show, but a Fop is a... Uh, 18th century sort of eccentric male figure wearing outlandish outfits, you know, a la Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean. But also, famously, Oscar Wilde, hence the name Wild Flop. And also, the Wild might have something to do with dogs because we see him associated with them a few times throughout the show. Brick Frog, another character whose origins are a little bit weird. For, um, Jackson Public, as a child, used to dress up as a frog character with a foam brick. Genius. Something only the mind of a child could develop. But also, did you know that a brick frog is that term for the bit that goes in, inside a brick? I didn't until I started to make this video. There is weird, weird, weird levels of detail put into some of these. Like, I don't know, maybe other people know about bricks and I don't. Now, speaking of the Rhino, we've got Dragoon, sort of based on the military, uh, European military divisions, hence the uniform and hat. His silhouette in the council screen is very much reminiscent of the Rhino, as are a lot of his powers that we don't see much of, but seem to be brute strength and a lot of charging. Possibly some inspiration taken from the Muppets and Waldorf and Starter. Stolter? Statler? Statler. Waldorf and Statler. Also, a little bit of the big blo blooper, as him and Buddy Holly sort of show up as real characters. As Red Mantle, Dragoon's counterpart and intelligent magic user, is based on a Danish love story of uh, two gay men, I believe. That one might need fact-checking. Um, a voice based on that of Alec Guinness, and also, I saw this one on the I saw this one on the Venture Bros subreddit. I'm not a hundred percent sure on it, but someone suggested the Centurions, a strange '80s cartoon I've never heard of, but I could very much imagine the creators of this show having stolen something from a weird '80s show I've never heard of. Sounds straight up their alley. The Nerve, a strange glass man with the insides of a man, specifically his nervous system stuck inside some strange glass tubing, creating more or less a competent villain. He's based on the Ninja Turtles character Mutagen Man, and this one's pretty easy to see the connection uh, once I put their pictures side by side. And finally, for this episode, Vendata. So, Vendata is very simply Robocop. Part person, part machine, set to do good by Jonah's Venture, and later to do evil by the villainous Dr. Z. But the Blue Morpho, on the other hand, and Don Fitzgerald, the human parts inside Vendata's robot body, is based on the Green Hornet. He's a badass superhero who likes him and his sidekick Kato kick butt, and the Blue Morpho and Kano as represented by the monarch and his father, also kick butt and it's nice to see the green hornet green hornet green hornet getting some representation i think the last time i saw him on a big screen was uh 
I think it's a Seth Rogen movie and oof, not the best. Well, let me know what you guys thought of this video in the comments down below and tell me which villains you want to see me do next time. Catch ya!